Chris Hansen here. Gonna need you to have a seat right over there. You're listening to the voice of hip hop, intro king, Mike Powers. Okay, so we talked about Charles and White earlier, and I don't know even know how to really set this up except for to just show you what he said. So I also saw an interview where you sent your pic to Bandman Kevo. Why? Why did you do oh, that? Oh, you go go there, huh? Oh, you go go there. You have to well, know, why did you do that? Well, I felt compelled to do it because he sent me a bunch of pictures of him with his shirt off, lifting weights, <laughs> lifting heavy weights. Oh, oh. And I mean, he sent me a, a at least seven and eight pictures. And he sent them to me in the middle of the night. So I feel like he was challenging me, showing all the. Muscles. See, back then my arm wasn't looking like this here, so I didn't have no other muscles to send him. So I sent him the best muscle I had that I thought that would, you know, can, can compete with other people's muscles. So I sent him my muscle, and I ain't just sent him a picture. I sent him a video, and I was putting grease on my muscle. You know, like how you grease. He was greasing his arm. Yeah, I was greasing mine. Shook it at him, and sent it to him. He texts me back saying, "I'm as hell," and I'm saying to myself, "Man, you saw my." I ain't see your, my dick is on your mind. Your dick ain't on mine. Uh, I know what your belly look like, but you know what my dick look like. So, nan, nan, the boo boo, I win. You can't never forget this. But yeah, you can't get this off your mind. Once you see another man, you can't remove that image out of your mind. So I branded my dick in his brain forever to get my lick back. I don't know who Batman Kevo is, but I don't know what their relationship is, but he sent Charles the White some pictures of some shit. And Charles the White said that the pictures the dude sent to him was uh greasy no shirt on doing workout that he said this to to charleston white i don't know as a way to say i'm the shit you can't fuck with me i'll be i don't know what the fuck it was but then as you heard in the clip charleston white said in return for him sending that shit to me i sent that man a dick pic his exact words were, he was showing me his muscles. Yes. So I don't have muscles like that. So I showed him my muscles. My yep, muscles. His, his strongest, his biggest muscle. <laughs> so his answer was to send the guy a, a oh, picture of him shit. greasing up his wood. The dude told Charleston White, nigga, you gay. In classic Charleston White fashion, he said, you gay. You saw my dick. I didn't see yours. Right. You thinking about my dick now. Now my dick is always going to be in your mind because as a man, when you see another man's dick, you're not going to be able to get it out of your head. If Listen, if you're gay, that's on you. You're welcome. Right? This platform is for everybody. I'm not shaming nobody for their sexual preference. Whatever makes you happy is fine with me. It's more than fine with me. What I'm going to say, and the question I'm going to ask French, is at what point in time, if you call yourself straight, is it acceptable? It's oh. not. It's not. I'm out. <laughs> French, <laughs> French, I think, lands on the right answer. It's not acceptable. Um, Mav, what's your, what's your take on his, re his, his response to Batman Kevil? He gonna send him a pic of his joke. Ooh, shit. Listen, person to person, nah, I don't have to, I don't wanna see no man dick. Clearly. But if you watch porn, if you watch porn, you look at a man's dick, whether you're looking at a man's dick or not. Because there are videos where you could just watch women masturbate. But you have a category. Oh, I like this. I like that. I like shots. I like this. I like DP. I like uh, MILFs. And you know what I'm saying? Matt, Matt, so, Matt, yeah, tell, me, tell, to me. Tell, tell me more about these categories. Oh, what about the categories? Dicks are, hey, listen, in most of them, there's a dick involved. You know what I mean? So when is it? You know what I'm saying? It, it, I feel like the problem. Could possibly be a little deeper than just 
these two guys and dick pics. No, nah, I don't, Mike, I don't ever want, I'm never going to send you a dick pic. Listen, Please you, never send me a dick pic. <laughs> Please if, never. If, if On if any circumstance. you mad at me and you send me a dick pic because you're mad at me, I got to block you. That's yeah. just. <laughs> listen, if they say, listen, you got to look at this dick pic or we got to kill you. I'm going to say, listen, I'm going to move my hair to the side, make it quick and make it clean. Get it, get it out of the way. But again, it's a it's a it's a bigger fucking problem. You he, know what I'm saying? It, the, my, my, talk first, to me. Two things. Two things. Yeah. Number one, is this a is there something I'm playing devil advocate? Is there something yeah. refreshing about the fact of because you gotta think about it from this standpoint? Yeah. He don't give a fuck at this point in his life. He does not. Clearly. I don't give a fuck. So is there something hey, refreshing hey, about Let you? me stop you, please. And again, there has not been one fucking consequence to the shit that he has said or done. He walking around with a lot of mace on him. That ain't no motherfucking consequence. No, the nigga I'm saying. got his head blown off. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, the, I know. In the town. Okay. But that, listen, no, there's nobody, all of the gangsters, everybody that's upset with him about whatever it is. He disrespect niggas' mama. And and guess what? Nothing has happened to him. You gotta tilt that. I seen him hit a nigga in the head with a knife last week on the internet. I want to get your whole head in there. Pause. Get your. I'm sorry. Yeah. Pause. (laughs) No, I mean. Fucking Mike. (laughs) Block. Yeah, but there's there's been no consequences, Mike. What keeps on? No consequences. You're right, and so I'm concerned about. You block them, but it like I. Is that all? Oh, I'm just gonna block you. Homie that's that was new, sending him literature. multiple videos of him. Oh, damn! My sh- I think my shit's freezing. No, greasing up his muscles and making muscles, and allegedly he got some work done. But still, what the, Mike? I don't give a fuck if I lost twenty pounds and, and had a fucking twelve pack again. There's absolutely no reason for me to send you any motherfucking muscle pics. If you in the gym and you be like, damn, nigga, I see you, nigga. I don't That's know one why. Thing. I don't know why the response isn't just bitch ass. Why did you send me this picture of you working out? Like you want some corn bullshit? It's, shit, it's right? Charleston White. And that come on, that's that's more you. That's more me. It's Charleston White. Everything is over the top. Everything is, hmm, I gotta one up you some sort of way. This is what now. If that's now even get, a fucking one up. Now we're getting on to what to my next point. Because his brand is outrageousness. No matter what form outrageousness takes, it's always something outrageous. The question yeah. is, does he get to a point where he just got to keep outdoing himself in order to keep on bringing people in? And then what does that end up looking like? Because now we already we always at the we already at the point of we're not at the point that he sent the dick pic. We're not at the point where somebody reported him, he sent me a dick pic. We're at the point where he's on camera admitting to the fact that he sent a dick pic to another guy. So we yes. pretty far down the road for outrageous fucking behavior. What's yes. next? Like, what's next? The Why motherfucker sending the pictures with his shirt off and greasing up his muscles. He got what he deserved because as we've talked about with, you know, the whole like Rick Ross situation, as a man, why do you keep, why are you sending multiple pictures? It's not just one picture like, hey, look at this. And and basically, if you're going to look at it, if let's just say the dude, uh, Kev, on the receiving end of the dangling pic, okay? If he was to report it, would this be a, like when a woman's wearing something specific, oh, she got what she was asking for? Just as a man, why are you sending all these? So as far as I'm concerned, fuck that. And especially if you know this man personally and know his brand is outrageous, what did you expect? There was There's guys out there who follow this dude, Charleston White, who are big fans of his, who in some way, form, or fashion, because they're so invested in the cult of personality, they're going to just defend it in a way where they wouldn't defend another guy who didn't have already some type of momentum 
behind him. Just a regular guy run up to you and say, yo, this dude pissed me off, so I sent him a dick pic. It's all type of things you're going to say about this guy. It's all type of uh, blowback he's going to receive. Pause. No pun intended. He's going to receive a ton of pushback, let's say, right? And so... Pause. But, but there are so many pause, but there are so many people that's in Charleston White's comment section that's like cheering it on and that's where we at as a culture that is no real objective truth like i don't it's fine if you want to defend it on its fucking merits all i'm saying is that all y'all gotta be consistent and a lot of y'all motherfuckers ain't consistent some people watching this right now follow charleston white and you didn't already made an excuse for why he did what he did when in fact there ain't no excuse for it. Yeah, I mean, I I agree with you, but like his fans are his fans, and maybe that's why they're his fans because they like weirdo shit. There's weirdos out there, you know what I'm saying? There's motherfuckers who like bad. to go to donkey shows and stuff like that. So this movie, it's this guy. First of all, it, this is what we doing for entertainment. I remember I grew up on Eddie Murphy, Richard Pryor, the Wayans brothers. You know what I mean, Michael Jackson, Run DMC, some wrestling. You know what I mean? Cartoons. <laughs> This is what I use to entertain myself with. This is what we do on this is what we use it for entertainment now. Like we want we gonna we're gonna click on what's the reason why we're clicking on Charleston White? We're gonna click on Charleston White to see who he might have offended and who you about to get into some kind of beef with. I mean, right or wrong. Mm -hmm. We know that a lot of this stuff existed on a show called Real Housewives, where the entertainment, and it was sort of like the real world too, right? But sort of like the first reality show where the whole draw was the conflict. Yeah. Right? And you used to have to get cast for a reality show so you can get up there and get drunk and act the fuck out. Now, people are making their own TV at home doing ratchet shit. And they putting oh, it on yeah. Tubi. Right, pick it, pick it shots. Take like, that out, just in case we ever get on Tubi. Look, hey, listen, isn't WAC 100 supposed to be a gangster? And what does this dude spend most of his time doing? Chit chatting, gossiping, starting shit. Yeah. Niggas addicted to Clubhouse. Niggas still fuck with Clubhouse. Listen. Never fucked with it. Well, Neither. Nigga whack on fucking. He on Clubhouse. Just bringing people's name up out of nowhere. Oh, right? What? Starting shit. This is black people are getting their entertainment from black people starting shit with other fucking black people. Black people are not so, the only one getting their entertainment from that. The world. The world. It is. White people are, are entertained by it as well. And and you know what? It just opens up the door for somebody to cast judgment and be like, see? Told you. Look at them. Remember, it's gotta, it's gotta be that balance. And what happens when it's it goes too far? I'm outside. Mm -hmm. I'm outside. I hope shit don't go left. Where I got to defend myself, you know what I mean? But we saw this thing happen with Tax Stone. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like when, because, because in other media, you entertainment tonight, certain shit like this, we talked about this with, with the whole uh, Joe Budden and Drake thing, where yeah. now if you a black person that's a content creator, if you say certain things or you criticize other black people, all of a sudden people want to fight. Entertainment tonight, everybody else can say whatever they want to say about you. You're not going to threaten those people. DMZ Entertainment Tonight been trashing motherfuckers for years. Right. The Inquirer, right. a motherfucker can make some shit up about you. Right. But it got to be the right person. Listen, I, I, I said this to somebody, right? I said, check it out, right? And, and pardon the context, but it's real shit. I said, listen. If we throw on them hoodies and them masks and we hit that door, the motherfuckers on the other side of that door, the motherfuckers gonna want some static. They ain't just gonna lay down. I said, but if yo, if we put these vests on, if we throw these fake badges on and we hit that door and we walk in there screaming, yo, this is who we are. Them letters, them alphabets. I said, it's not going to be nearly as attractive to put up some resistance as it would have been if we just throw the mask on. You see how that shit go? Yeah. If a nigga know it's me, 
Nigga gonna want some static. Nigga gonna want to defend. He gonna want to defend that, that his turf. But if I come in there and that bag swinging before motherfucker recognize me, they gonna see the oh shit, nigga, it's them boys, nigga, it's the FBI, it's the ATF, it's you know what I'm saying, RPD, it's whoever. Don't nobody want that static. You see what I'm saying? And it just go to show that when it come to us and our own and doing, you know what I'm saying, button heads with our own, we willing to take that shit to the extremes. But when it's an agency and all of the agencies are ran by white folks, if you're in the wrong, you're in the fucking wrong. But don't nobody want to butt heads with them. We wake up every day, mm -hmm. going to the timeline, looking for beef. Yes. Not me, but yeah. That. We want to feed ourselves beef. Pause. Listen. And <laughs> that's what we want to, we want to feed ourselves beef every day. And, um, you know, you keep, on, you keep on dropping in poison. We used to be able to, you know what it, what it used to be? You know, used to be, you know what's equivalent to this kind of? I remember when I was a kid and the video store, I'm dating myself, but this is when the video stores just started opening and you had the VHS tapes and you, your parents would take you to the, to the store to get you a tape and we would go get the wrestling tape. And I went and got the the WrestleMania tape. And you know what this is equivalent to? You know where where I where I caught that energy from? This energy where you seeing people beating up each other out in the street. The energy where you seeing people fighting at Chuck E. Cheese, screaming at each other, making threats. You know where I got that from? You know where that fix came from? The Royal Rumble. Mm. Yeah. Everybody in the in the joint. It's chaos. It's like you just keep adding wrestlers. Next thing, here come Iron Sheik. Oh shit! You know what I mean? And then it's yeah, like, they ring the bell. Ding, 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 ding. Another motherfucker come running down. It's ghosts. <laughs> Twenty people in the ring. People getting thrown out the ring. And sometimes Ooh, they come out of nowhere. All of a sudden, they'd be like, "Oh, and here comes the Ultimate Warrior." Ah, uh. <laughs> right. Somebody would come in with a weapon. Bow. A steel chair. chair. Yeah, you know I mean, hit him with a chest. Like, come in with a junkyard dog. Come in with a chain. Fuck going on. You know what I mean? So, but now instead of waiting for WrestleMania Royal Rumble, it's like you get your timeline. Let's see what Charleston White. Who we got beef with today? Who acting? Well, that's the problem. Is it's like Mav was saying, motherfuckers ain't fighting. I always say, whoever said violence wasn't the answer has never punched somebody in the mouth for disrespecting you. And and that's where I feel like I went wrong. I'm supposed to be such a fucking lady. And all this other stuff, but there's a lot of people out there in this little hip hop world that have disrespected me. That people have kept me from punching in the mouth, and I still think to this day it would have solved a lot of issues. And I will use this. I will use this moment as a disclaimer to say the Mike Powers show does not in any way condone any acts of violence. <laughs> I'm going to use this moment to um, reiterate what Rob Gates said. Oh, I condone violence. I condone violence. Listen, everybody respects violence. No matter what end of it you're on, you know what I'm saying? Um, unfortunately, it can be used in very, very, very negative ways. If Charleston White was to see this video. Put the guns yeah. down and throw hands. Right. That's it. That, 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 that's, that's it. it. What, what, throw what hands. Should, what should my response be if Charleston White sees this video and decides that he going to take a shot at me online? Please don't send do me a dick, dick pic. He's going to send his dick pic to you. And then he's going to tell you, he's going to say, what's wrong with you, nigga? Ain't nobody wait make you no breakfast this morning, nigga. You see my dick pic, didn't you? Hey. Now you can't get that motherfucker out there. You know how he talk with that little you, And he's going to say, and now you thinking and talking about my dick. Yep. <laughs> Charles the White, stay the fuck off my page. You heard you talking about the dick on the your face show. And the glizzy, stay the fuck away from me. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> What the fuck was poppin' is your boy Mike Powers The intro king It's Powers The almighty